My name is Logan Kramer. I'm 17 years old. I'm a senior at Southmore High School, and I'm the best newspaper delivery person on Long Island. Really fun, really fun movie. I just, um, I really enjoyed this. Uh, the title, best, one of the best titles uh, I've seen come through this festival for, uh, for a film, you know. Um, it says a lot, it says a lot. <laughs> I really enjoyed this, um, you know, um, competition between young adult um, paper delivery people, you know, a really fun idea, a really funny idea for a, for a movie um, that we had these um, people obsessed with winning so so badly obsessed um in in the paper route world it's very funny good good idea and and you know we had the, the characters with the distinct personalities we had a couple they, they split up they we, we hope they're they're back together at the end over an applebee's uh, gift card and it was very funny so the the actors all did a great job everybody was very funny it was a good script it was well paced and edited well directed well shot um you know just a lot of fun so it, it was uh you know, and, and, and we need, we need, we need more fun like this in the world right now. So thank you for making this and um, I hope it does well for you. I found the film Paper People to be really funny and I appreciated that each character was distinctly comical in their own regard. I think my favorite joke of the film was where Nate mistakes Lance Armstrong for Neil Armstrong. I thought that choosing to make this a docu-style film was really clever because it allowed, I think, the filmmaker to explore how ridiculous this concept was in with even more room to play. And I enjoyed specifically how the cameraman himself became a character. And we were distinctly aware of when he was filming these characters without their permission and he was then able to show them footage of each other to sort of play them against one another and help orchestrate the, the story. Paper People was a really great short comedy. I enjoyed it. I, I love the characters, the sort of mockumentary aspect of it. I loved how the story evolved um, and how we kind of saw the different aspects of the characters and the ending and all the unexpected um twists and turns in really fun ways. It was just a really great piece and I thought it was so well done considering the constraints um, and the writing. I really enjoyed the, the dialogue between the characters. It was just great. Applause to the team. The very solid performances by all those young performers. Uh, I thought the writing was uh, a lot of fun, uh, kept the story moving. Uh, the uh, rate of introduction of the characters was uh, well uh, timed out. And uh, the way that we uh, slowly discovered the, uh, the various conflicts involved, um, I thought, yeah, I thought the pacing was nice. The uh, the structure of it was very sound and uh, and uh, kept us going uh, towards the conclusion. Um, and uh, everyone uh, did a great job interpreting their characters. Um, great camera work, uh, lighting. Yeah, the I thought uh, it was very solid. I uh, got a couple of chuckles and uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fun to watch. Uh, it's funny. It's well done. It was done in sort of a um, uh, interview type, documentary type of thing. And uh, it was well done. Very funny. Um, heartfelt and uh, well put together by everyone. The actors were good uh, and it was just silly and funny. And uh, it, it's nice to see people making films like this. Cheers. This is very cute and lovely. They have a nice storytelling with whimsical characters that seem taken out of a animated series or, yeah, it's kind of cartoonish. The moral is quite important at the end and I believe they did a great job portraying the different personalities of these characters and their quirks and what they are passionate about and how important the passion can be disrupting your daily life and your relationship with others. So I think it was quite deep and quite funny as well. I enjoyed it a lot and I love their, their performances. Mm -hmm.